welcome to Dorpet Time episode 4! Uh, live from Comic Con Gamex here in Stockholm, Sweden. I'm one of your hosts, Endigo, alongside the guy from Gothenburg, the Raid Radical. Yeah! Yo! I thought we were gonna say Raid! <laughs> well, plot twist. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, over to my right, 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 the Curry with Fury Kivoshadera. You have to stop switching the order, or I will kill someone. You have to start sitting in the right order. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, welcome. This is our first video podcast on this uh, on this channel. How, how how does it feel? Feels awesome. Like seriously, this, I can't believe we are already doing a video podcast. <laughs> I can't believe we're doing this. What the fuck's wrong with us? Yeah, it feels great actually. Um, well, everybody asked about a video podcast, so here it is. So here it is finally. Yeah. Like, here's the problem. We've been wanting to do video podcast for like everybody. The thing is, we live in different cities, so yeah. it's kind of a kind of a tricky thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> Well, but uh, here we are, and we are, like I said, we are at Comic-Con Gamex in Stockholm. Yeah. Uh, courtesy of our friends in Splay, yeah. Sweden. Sweden's largest YouTube network. Um, and we're sitting in their booth, because we're nasty like that. Yeah, I'm Doing so a happy podcast. that we've finally gotten some sleep, me and Raid, because we had no sleep yesterday. We were like oh, walking yeah. around like zombies. We, we were totally wrecked and we had like nothing to eat. So it was like fun uh, testing the new games and everything, but <laughs> it was tiresome. But all, yeah. all the while you just felt... I want to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly yeah. what we felt. But Disclaimer, we don't encourage killing yourself. Yeah. Now you can't sue us. No. <laughs> At least we had burgers in the end. We had oh, so much burgers, oh my okay, god. Okay, okay. So the the best thing about working with the, the amazing Splay is that you get free burgers on these events. Uh, so we got like uh, Max Hamburger, which which is... Uh, like the best burgers in Sweden. The yeah. best burgers in Sweden. It's the best burgers in Sweden. We're actually sitting on a Max pillow right now. Um, we got uh, uh, free burgers there, so we went there yesterday and uh, got fed there. So uh, damn fat, yeah, I mean, oh totally my god. Wrecked, totally wrecked. The best nice. thing was all the coffee and pies and stuff after the burgers. Oh yeah, my god, the, the, the raspberry pie the was raspberry nice. Pies was Jesus like, Christ. Oh. <laughs> So good. So yeah, good. more burgers after this podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, yeah. today we just we just came back to to Comic Con today to do this podcast, and we're gonna go eat more burgers. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's like our job in a nutshell. Yeah? <laughs> Your job, more like my job. <laughs> <laughs> we do I'm games only... sometimes. Then we eat burgers I'm and like, get fat. I'm like, I can I can produce a podcast for you. Just give me the burgers afterwards. <laughs> Stop eating all our burgers. <laughs> Like we bought like 10 burgers yesterday and then you ate everything, oh my god. We just got like two Hon halves of burgers. I, I honestly just had one burger, but what a burger. What a burger. <laughs> it was like 10 burgers worth of a burger. Um, should, we, should we talk some games maybe? maybe yeah, maybe, sometimes. maybe, maybe. I wonder how this audio is, by the way. It's, it's very noisy. We are very sorry if this audio is very noisy, but uh, we're like in the middle of the convention and it's all, it's all crazy here, but uh, it's, it's all very fun. Mm. Um, this is my first GameX. This is my first Comic Con, actually. Yeah, same, uh, same. I've same. Never and it's great. GameX or Comic Con yeah. before, so. I mean, for me, I, I always watch E3 and all the press conferences, Gamescom and P P G fucking T G S, whatever the, the fuck they're called. T G P Digimon. This is my first time attending one of these, and it's great. I mean, it's obviously it's obviously not as huge as E3 in any respect, definitely, definitely. but it's nice. It's nice. It's we nice. got we got to play some shit. We got to play some Dark Souls 3 yesterday. Yeah. Which we actually made a let's play. It's already up on Dorpa TV which if you're I watching played. this. Which he played, and I stood by and cringed. And I <laughs> recorded. <laughs> I held the camera. <laughs> the, the funny thing was that uh, we actually did a recording. Uh, we, we did two recordings of Dark Souls 3. The first one I sucked really bad. Yeah, the, I didn't even uh, remember the controllers, and I like, thought yeah. that. The square button yeah, was yeah. the attack button, so I was yeah, like yeah. going around chugging Estes flasks. <laughs> You're like, yeah. why aren't yeah. you dying, <laughs> Hog Dog? Yeah. But that's <laughs> like so the bad. thing with no sleep that really showed when you played it the first time. It, you were Definitely. like practically standing and sleeping. Then you yeah, were pretty, yeah, yeah. you had all the energy in the second run. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was, it, was, it was a good run. What, what do you think of the game so far? Well, to be quite honest, the game feels a lot like exactly like Dark Souls 1 and 2. But uh, a little bit polished, uh, mm. obviously, uh, with the graphics and all. But uh, it's, it's really the same game. And it didn't showcase the bow and arrow, or at least I didn't The bow and arrow it. is in Bloodborne. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong game, man. <laughs> Don't worry about okay, it. Okay, whatever. But they had uh, a couple of classes that you can uh, pick, so you didn't have to actually yeah. do... Uh, oh god, wait, time. something's happening here. Oh dear god. Oh no, please don't crash into us. Oh, no. Twist? Okay, this is working out. Okay, okay so there, there are a couple different things here. There's a guy called Donnie Nube who's doing some kind of live thingy here, and they're almost crashing into us. Yeah. 
they, they, well, they got a girl with uh, the a blindfold on uh, walking yeah. around. <laughs> I'm, I'm just so glad that the camera survived. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, if you're if you're not watching the video, uh, a Swedish YouTuber called Daniel Norberg is walking around with a blindfolded small girl. Uh, get no ideas, but uh, <laughs> oh my God. they all look so terrible. Oh my God! No, no, no! It didn't. That's how you imagine it. Yeah, it's all in your head. head. Yeah. Oh boy, my head! It's not so terrible. You are terrible. Oh no more! Ah! Well, this, this is the, 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 the podcast. This is the worst podcast ever. Now one of the technicians went in front of the camera. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. Whatever. This is the price we pay for being the smallest channel on Play. Yeah. Technically, DARPA TV is well, not even there. At least they didn't knock over the camera. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's something to be happy for, I guess. Okay, oh, well, well, well uh, Dark Souls. Yeah, Dark Souls 3. Mm. Um, like, I didn't play, I, I tried it a little bit. Mm. To me, it felt. I, I think, for me, it felt more like playing more Bloodborne than playing more Dark Souls. You know what I mean? Um, maybe, yeah, maybe it's the PS4 graphics that makes it, but I don't know. It, it, it was like. I, I played a little bit of Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2. And I played through the entire Bloodborne, mm. and I felt right at home in this game. I missed the regeneration, but aside from that... Uh, yeah, well, the, the colors and the theme were a lot like Bloodborne, actually. Like yeah, a, yeah. A, a lot yeah. of like brownish-yellow in the textures and everything, so I guess you could feel a lot like home from Bloodborne. Yeah, and like I said in the Let's Play, it feels like they've taken some of the assets of Bloodborne and just ripped them straight out into, <laughs> into yeah. Dark Souls 3. I basically felt that this was Bloodborne with a shield. Like literally, yeah. Bloodborne with a shield. Like remove the regen and uh, insert a shield instead. Yeah. You can block, which is cool. It's really cool, but that's all. But that's not how I want to play. I want to play like agile, uh, like more agile, like I do in Bloodborne. Mm. And well, I guess you could do that because you have stats and all the things that actually play a part in yeah. the game. Yeah, yeah. You can have different weapons I, and stuff. Actually, this game plays a lot faster than previous Souls games. I thought it seemed a lot more. You think so. Yeah, like to me, the Souls games are pretty slow. Mm. Uh, Bloodborne is pretty fast in comparison. Still, I mean, it's not it's not a Devil May Cry, but it's still faster than yeah. Dark Souls. Yeah. This seemed like somewhere in between. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. yeah, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. Yeah, but I still think it was pretty slow. I haven't tried mm. the previous Soul games actually. I only have Bloodborne as a reference, so I think that it felt slow when we we had the spear and tried to use the spear, and it was so slow, like. Yeah, well, well that, that, that because was of the weapon. Yeah, but still, uh, all the rolls and the evade uh, maneuvers you do, they are a lot slower. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they yeah, are. Yeah. But for me, who haven't played that much Bloodborne either, I saw that you had a magical wand and you could like uh, get this yeah. uh, magical greatsword. Is that available in yeah, Bloodborne uh, as well? No, you actually uh, no. have spells no. in this game. Yeah. Different spells. Yeah, there, you, like, throw missiles and also summon weapons. Yeah, yeah, there's virtually no magic in Bloodborne, right? Mm. Yeah. I mean, I didn't. At least I didn't find any. Maybe I just played it bad. <laughs> I don't <laughs> remember any magic. Bubble. I don't. I don't know. Not really. No. Just buffs for your weapons. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's cool. I really, really think that the magic part was. Uh, it was actually more awesome than just adding a shield. The magic yeah. part is cool. I want to mm. play that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm happy for the game. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. So if you haven't seen the let's play, go watch it here on Darpa TV. Uh, one of the world's absolute first let's plays of Dark Souls oh, yeah. 3. That's really awesome. I actually, I actually searched YouTube last night yeah. and I found two other let's plays of the game. None of them had face cam. So we, it, there's a possibility that we have the very first Dark Souls 3 let's play with a face cam in the world. Woo maybe. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. And it's my face. Uh, and it's your face. Yeah. And a bit of mine sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm happy for the game. Well, yeah. yeah, speaking of Dark Souls 3, the, there's been a lot of games here at uh, GameX, or, well, not technically a lot of games, there, there's been, it's been scarce, but... Uh, it's been pretty scarce. Yeah. At least some AAA games. Yeah, we've seen, uh, we've seen uh, Mighty Number no. 9. Yeah. yeah. The game that's never coming out, that's supposedly coming out. Yeah. That was so awkward, because we went up to the game, and I was like, oh, this is Mighty Number no. 9, that's a game that's been delayed for, like, a million times. Like, like, this is so... Silly. Last time, like the game was supposed to be out, I think this this past March or something. Mm -hmm. Then it got delayed until fall of 2015, and then I think it was supposed to be released in like September or something. Yeah. And two or three weeks before release, uh, after this long delay, uh, they announced that sorry, the game is gonna be delayed again uh, with two weeks notice. Like, how did they not know that two weeks before? Mm -hmm. uh, and this is gonna be delayed until next year, like next March or something. Uh, so they delayed by half a year, two weeks in advance. And the official reason is that there were some errors in the multiplayer aspect. Now this is a complete single-player game. So what the? F 
I think they're trolling us. And I, I said this when we stood in front of the game, and r right as of me saying that, a Bandai Namco PR guy comes up to me like, well, actually, this time it's not going to be delayed again. Yeah, and uh, he was really promising it, too. Yeah, so. well, let's take it. He was like, I would, bet, I would bet a thousand, a thousand bucks on it. Yeah. Well, actually, a thousand crores, because a thousand bucks would be a uh, International viewers, dude. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But I'm actually, that, that's so sad because I'm so hyped for this game. I mean, mm. I love the Mega Man games and the Zero games, so mm. I'm like really, really stoked and this game is never released, so I'm so furious. Did you back it on Kickstarter? Huh? Yeah. Did you back it on Kickstarter? No. Neither did I. <laughs> Neither did I, but I, have, I didn't have my eyes on it. But it looks really cool. I, I went to the Kickstarter and I chose not to back it. I, I was like, fuck this game. Oh, I would okay, have backed Frog Fractions too, but I I was too late. Please let's let's not talk about that game anymore, like hey. ever, ever. <laughs> trauma, trauma. No, no, no more fractions, no more dads, no, no more. No more dad divisions. divisions. <laughs> Speaking of dad divisions, Greg, where you can play the division over here, Tom Clancy's. Oh, yeah. uh, we haven't done that yet, but it seems okay. You're hyped for it. Yeah, not really hyped for it. But <laughs> okay, you're not. Okay, nobody's hyped for it. Not, <laughs> not even. Sorry. No, sorry. No, not uh, even the guy who's hyped for it is actually hyped well, for it. Well, the, the thing is, I didn't know that it was gonna be here. But when I saw it, I was like, oh, Tom Clancy's The Division's here. Well, I should check it out. So I guess I sounded a little bit hyped, but uh, I still want to check it out since I haven't played that Tom Clancy game since for like a couple of years. Mm. Since I, I think I played one of the games on Xbox. But I they haven't been really the thing. I played so, some Rainbow Six, I think Rainbow Six Vegas yeah, yeah, or Rainbow some Six. some of the old games or mm. some Ghost Recon. I can't remember. Mm. Um, but I don't know. I mean, the division. I mean, it's literally 80 feet away, so we could literally go there right now if we want to. But yeah. I don't know. I'm I'm not feeling it, man. I would rather yeah. try to play Just Cause. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm much more hyped to try that game. Somebody's butt is in the camera. Nice. Yeah. Oh, more butts. Yeah. We uh, need those clicks. Yeah, no, but uh, I don't know. Uh, no, but <laughs> to me, the division seems like uh, it kind of looks like the gameplay sort of looks like The Last of Us, like some kind of stealth military thingy, but without personality, I guess. Kinda. I, guess. I mean, it would be cool to try, but 2015 is too much of a good gaming year. I mean, there is there is so much competition. But the division is not coming out until next year. The division's also been like delayed for like what, a year and a half. Like they showed that at fucking. E3 in I think 2013, oh, and really? it's not coming. Yeah, it's, it's been it's been showed for like E3 after E3 after E3, and it's coming out supposedly in 2016. So it's like Jesus, get your shit together. Oh my god. And like E3 2014 and 15, they showed pretty much the same trailer both years. So yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm. It might be good, but I'm not hyped. I know, I know some people are, but. I just don't see it, I'm sorry. No, yeah. it's so overshadowed by everything else. I mean, uh, stuff like No Man's Sky or just like anything. Stuff from... like No Man's Sky. Yeah, I mean, like no the Man's whole... Sky. No Paris, Man's Sky. The whole Paris Gaming Week, I mean, the whole thing, all the games there, I mean, everything beats this game. Mm. Everything Man. beats this game. Or at least, at least, I think so. I know many people will disagree, but Paris Games Week, there were a lot of cool things there. Uh, dreams, I want to talk about Dreams. Let's talk yeah, about dreams. dreams. Yeah, yeah. Let's well, dreams. I, I was actually really plot twisted about the gameplay because yeah, I I didn't really know like the first five minutes. I didn't know what what uh, you did in the game. It was like explaining a lot where you were like interacting with the stuff and like pulling yeah, yeah. everything uh, around. The thing is, the question I'm asking is, is it there from the beginning or do you put it in and then you let someone play it and? Dr like uh, you, you can you can either use like choreograph everything. No, no. Uh, you can either use pre-made assets, uh, yeah. however much you want, or you can do everything from scratch. Mm. Like you could like take a piece of brown a, a brown block and like carve it, literally carve yeah, yeah, it yeah. into whatever, mm. and uh, make the rules of the world. So you can make uh, something into a racing game, or a shooting game, or a music game, mm. or just weird platforming game where you throw cu cupcakes. Yeah. And that's the thing. It, it seems like. <laughs> It seems like Little Big Planet in 3D, pretty much. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they showed us uh, some pre-made stages where you couldn't yeah. change that much, but they also said that there will be some sick customization, uh, like opportunities that they w w that they didn't show over there, but yeah. that will be available. So, uh, like, there will be stages you that will be like a normal game where you can't do much uh, other than the, what the stage is designed yeah. for and then you will have your own means and tools to create your own game so yeah. it's kind of like Little Big Planet on crack 
It's Mario Maker next gen. Yeah, it is yeah, Mario yeah, Maker next gen. It's Game Maker. Game Maker. <laughs> but that's like saying, I mean, Game Maker. And the, RPG Maker. You mentioned that you will probably do a music video there, and it, yeah. you can like totally do That'll stuff be like sick. that. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, you can be creative, not only making a game, you can like make art in this yeah, game. Yeah, absolutely, cool. absolutely. Mm -hmm. But then again, aren't video games art? Yeah. Not pops the 3D. That's fucking disgusting. That's not art. Let's let's make nothing Bubsy. arty about it. Let's make Bubsy 3D in dreams. Bubsy dreams. You do that, and I go make art. <laughs> the art band. I'm just gonna go and make some dank memes out of this game. Oh, there are gonna be so many dank memes. Yeah. Like, yeah. like Jesus Christ. I I found like only in Little Big Planet karting, which you can also like make whatever you want in. Yeah. Like fucking, I played first person shooters made in Little Big Planet karting, <laughs> in the fucking wow. kart game. Yeah. Um, but. Even in that game, I found some pretty dank levels. Like, there were some levels with uh, with Sonic. There was a guy. Uh, there was a level called Scary imagine. Sonic, which was like, oh yeah, oh, it was like a pretty God. lame yeah. racing lever. Like you only like went around. But Sonic would like Sonic the Hedgehog would randomly jump scare around the level. Like, boo, boo, boo. it wasn't spooky at all. It no, was it was. I mean, okay. He, okay. He, the, the question is, was it Sonic or Sanic? It, it was closer to Sanic, actually. I think the intention was Sonic, but it actually but the, became <laughs> it Sonic. Became Sonic. <laughs> but the actual outcome was Sanic-ish. Sonic the Hedgehog! You know, when I was a kid, you know, uh, the, the, the newer Sonic series, Sonic the Hedgehog, you yeah, know yeah. that's one. I thought they sang Sonic Tales show, like his buddy Tails, like, like yeah, it's about Sonic, but it's it's actually a Tails show. Oh Sonic Tails show. <laughs> Tails and everybody. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, Sonic uh, is a dude stealing that spotlight. Sonic Tails show. Still, Sonic Satan. That show was awesome. Uh, Which? Satan. The second one. The first what? one was uh, really one. goofy. Yeah, the dark. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this so, is one. This I one. totally love that. Too. Yeah, yeah uh, there was some actual plot twists in that that made me like. Have nightmares for yeah, reals. Yeah, they were really good. Uh, there were many good shows in the 90s, like when we were kids. Too much. Do you remember uh, a show that went on. Uh, what the fuck was it called? Like, there are so many animated shows that I'll, I'm like, I've asked people about them. Nobody remembers them, but. I have one. I have one that, that I, that I will right. ask you. Oh, yeah, am, I, am I supposed to shoot right now? Okay, okay. I, I, yeah, yeah, do it. Okay. Uh, I'm actually gonna be really amazed if you guys know which show this is because uh, fair enough. I feel like everybody should have seen this show and. Mostly, no one has seen the show. Hmm. Challenge accepted. Okay. Okay. Have you seen the show, Freakazoid? Uh, I know about it. You know about it. Yeah. But have I you seen have it? No. Because what is mo it? most people that I that I ask has, has never even heard about it. It's pretty and, famous. And, I'd say. And, and for me, it was the shit. Like really. But the thing is, Freakazoid is one of those shows that never really hit in Sweden, but it's huge in the US. Mm. Okay. So. Because uh, that show, like, it's a bit like Ren and Stimpy in that same sense. Kind of, but but uh, I, I get like the. A lot of Jim Carrey vibes, like yeah, Ace yeah, Ventura, yeah. like he was like totally, totally breaking the fourth wall and doing some like. Oh shit. yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, yeah, that, that was my thing. There, really. but, there but there are many of them. I mean, uh, for me, uh, okay, let's try a few. Do you remember? I don't know what what it's called in English, but Swedish title was was uh, Bambu Bjornana. Uh, of course. Not not Bumbi Bjornana. No, Bambu uh, Bjornana. Bambu Bjornana. Yeah, huh? like bamboo like bears. the bamboo bears. It yeah. might be called something else. Ah. Mm. Uh, uh, I haven't seen it. No. Okay, you have it. Okay, so what it was is essentially, as far as I remember, it was an animated show that went on the Swedish Channel 3 uh, mornings nine, in the 90s. And essentially it was about a few bears going on adventures. Like there was one panda, there was a girl who was like an Indiana Jones character. It was kind of an action series actually. Uh, okay. And they were like traversing through the jungle and each episode would have like some new bad guy they had to fight. That sounds huh. much cooler than Boombi Bjorn and I actually. It was a lot cooler than the freaking yeah. gummy bears. Are, are you serious? I, I actually like the gummy bears. Oh there we go. Gummy They're bears awesome. is good. And, and it's just this was cool. It's really awesome. Uh, he put off and come and Boombi Bjorn and I. Yeah. All you for fun, yeah me. Boombi bears soft and the magiska kraften. It's like, it's like a Swedish, you know, there, there's a pop group in Sweden called Nordman, which makes like Swedish folk music, but with like a heavy metal singer. Mm. Like if he would do a cover of that. But there are a few more. Do you remember uh, Noah's Island? No. Noah's Island. Uh, no. Wait, 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 that rings a bell, but... Uh, oh, 
Okay, so that was a TV show about it was it was kind of an um, interpretation of uh, Noah's Ark, I guess. It was about a polar bear called Noah who had his own island that was drifting around. Like it was not a stationary island. The island it was like a ship drifting the, through the sea, but the entire ship was like an island. And he was like the 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 guy who was in charge, uh, and he had all his animal bodies and things would happen. And he had a little mouse thingy. I don't remember the animal. It was called Sasha, and that was his buddy. Uh, that was a great show. Hmm. That was like the best one. Do you remember like this uh, Peter Pan series that was not one of the commercial ones, but one of like an underdog Peter Pan series that was actually really mature and at times pretty dark. Kind of like was it what, was Disney. it the was it the anime one? Where he had brown clothes and a yellow hat. I don't remember, but dun, like uh, dun, Captain, dun, Captain said Bomber, dun, Bomber dun, Granater. Dun, Do you remember that? Because he always said uh? Bomber of Granater as a curse word. Like something went by, he like Bomber of Granater. Bombs and hand grenades. Yeah, exactly what it means. And it was like pretty dark. I remember one of the last episodes where Peter Pan actually growing up and losing his power in the Neverland. So it was really, really angsty and oh. like it went really bad for the main characters. Oh. And I was like, Allegedly having feeling anxiety because it went so bad for them. That's crazy. Yeah, I, I don't actually remember that. I, I don't know if I've seen that one, but I did see the anime one. That one is awesome. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I think I rented like two episodes because it was in VHS. Dude, I got that entire VHS collection. Oh, you did? We should totally Jeez. marathon it sometime. We should, we should. Yeah. We should actually live stream the yeah, entire marathon. Uh, reactions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dark bad yeah. reacting too. It's in Swedish though. Maybe we can download the entire thing in English. We can try, we can try. There was an episode yeah. of that series uh, where it was like, a, I guess it was supposed to be like a Halloween episode or something, mm. where they would just sit around and uh, tell ghost stories. Okay. And they, so they would be like, the entire episode was like three short stories. Uh, they were like horror stories uh, told by the kids up in their uh, uh, cottage. That episode had me traumatized for years. Because one of the stories is about Peter Pan's like, yeah, my story is about a guy who went into. It was kind of like the the Lion Cave in Aladdin. Okay. Aladdin. He was like he went in there to get this crown of this dead Skull King, but then the Skull King came alive, and it was a gigantic, like skull that would like fly around, try to eat him. Ah. It was so horrifying. And then one of the other kids told another story about a haunted mansion. And like, in this house, she felt the presence of something. Maybe somebody had died here. And then the camera zoomed in on the curtains, and like, the lightning would flash, and in the flash, in the curtain, suddenly there would be like the face of a girl, like, <laughs> for like two frames, and you would hear like a girl, like, <laughs> and that, that, that was a jump scare. And I was like, I was freaked out. My dad was like, you okay? I'm like, nope. I'm fucking two years old, what do you think? He was like, oh, sorry. That was a good series, though. Oh my god, I Sounds haven't seen cool. much of the anime, so we should marathon. We it. should do that. And Coming up on Dorpa TV, maybe. Yeah, maybe. reactions. <laughs> well, we talk games sometimes. We talk games, games sometimes. sometimes. Yeah. No promises. We talk Peter Pan anime sometimes as well. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Um, that, that was a really good show. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know what's not as good of a show? Well, Comic Con well, Stockholm. Uh, it's not bad, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of underwhelmed. I was expecting. First of all, I was expecting Sony to have a presence. Yeah. Sony isn't even here. Even no. Here. Like, I wanted to try some VR, maybe some Oculus, maybe some PlayStation VR even. Yeah. There's virtually, obviously there's no PlayStation VR, but there's virtually no VR here. There yeah. are like two indie devs who have some Oculus, but those yeah. games seem kind of... And they also had the Google Cardboard yeah, thing, that, but that's whatever. Bad. Yeah, that's they, bad. <laughs> so two indie devs had Oculus. One of them ran in like five FPS, the other one just seemed... Not very interesting. No. And then they had one booth running Google Cardboard. And that's like when you that's dedicate like really an budget. entire booth for Google Cardboard. Like when you have Google Cardboard on the show floor, then... Then you know that it's something is... It's desperate uh, VR... Uh, desperate times. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, no. The thing is, uh, yeah. with, with GameX was that I didn't expect much because we're in Sweden and we don't have a lot of big shows. And yeah, uh, I mean, the comic part of it, and the comic yeah. and the pop culture, like, this yeah. entire Splay thing is super cool, yeah, and all cool. the comic things down there are super cool, yeah. but the gaming part, that's what I came for, yeah, and I'm, I came for the gaming I'm part too, and they, the they, they had some celebrities from, like, Game of Thrones and stuff. Oh yeah, absolutely, but that's not, that's, that's not like, games, you Yeah, know? that's totally cool, but as you said, we, we came here for the games. Yeah, bring us the games! Yeah. Um, the only thing so far is Dark Souls 3, and also they have Just Cause 3 here. Yeah, Just Cause and we were actually gonna do some kind of Let's Play preview. Yeah. So we went there and they were like, hey, are you guys filming? We're like, yeah, we're here, we're here with yeah. Splay. Like, oh, cool. You can't film here. 
Yeah. Like, total douchebag. Like, oh really? No, yeah, buddy. I mean, also, what, it's half an hour spoil? line. Like, really, what can we spoil? The game is like a, just a big sandbox game where you like have fun. Yeah. I mean, that's we, just good promotion for them if you yeah, go and show yeah, it. Precisely. So Look, I don't get the. For me, I'm hyped about playing the game. I would love to have played it here. I'm not gonna stand in line for half an hour here to not film it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm here to film. I mean, yeah. I understand why. I would probably do that if I was somewhere else, but come on, man, the game's gonna be out soon. It's yeah, not gonna yeah. be, it's not like secret. There are let's plays everywhere, yeah, so. And we're like, fine, we'll go and promote Dark Souls some more then. Yeah. yeah good like, to be you. Let's do another Dark Souls 3, let's play that. <laughs> But that said, yeah. Just Cause 3 looks freaking amazing. Yeah, it yeah. does, it does. I'm so hyped for a sandbox which is even derpier than all the other sandboxes out there. Like, this is GTA, but you can grapple hook onto everything and you can fly infinitely and you can blow everything up. Yeah. Well, one of the funniest things I saw in the trailer was that you can actually, like, there was one of the dictator statues when he was, like, preaching something and he was, like, grappling hooking his hand yeah. to his face and then he, like, contracted it so he was, like, face palming himself to destruction. I, that was like totally priceless. I saw a clip uh, of uh, some guy was walking uh, over a bridge, yeah. and I think it was a deer or a dog or something, yeah. or a horse, uh, walking the other way. And he grappled them together, so they were like... Uh, oh my god. <laughs> the grappling hook is like really a thing in that game. It's, 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 honestly, it's like if GTA was Goat Simulator. Yeah. That's what yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, With yeah, a touch yeah. of MGS, because you can like order uh, supply drops. Yeah. Like I saw, I saw a clip on Kinda Funny's channel. A guy was standing in a satellite dish, and he was like, "Supply drop, drop me a battleship right here." Oh, yeah. And they dropped him like a battleship uh, that like landed right on the satellite dish and like broke it. Oh yeah, that it thing. was we, so we, good. Like, kept, kept rolling down, like yeah, 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 destroying yeah. everything, oh, blowing up all the tanks on the platform and everything. It was that was so good. It's like the developers uh, thought. What can we pick from each and every sandbox game that is the most epic thing and do the most weird result of combining everything? Like, okay, okay, so here, here's why Just Cause 3 is awesome. Like the philosophy behind it. You have infinite C4 bombs on you. Yeah. And they're like, they're, you can't run out of them. You can literally place 50 of them and like... And they're like, that's not realistic. They're like, yeah, but it's fun. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. That's why I love this game so much. Also, it's made in Sweden. I, I'm actually uh, thinking about uh, when you said the C4 is unlimited. What if you like place a hell of C4 around the whole town? Will the game crash? <laughs> I think the town will cra crash. If nothing else, the, the town will crash probably. <laughs> it will be blown to smithereens. Like oh I, I see them blowing up the bridges and everything. Like he come flying, like Rico come flying under the bridge and like through everything, mm. puts mines everywhere, flies up, see this long truck going over the blade, like mm, mm. he's like, hey, that's the guy who killed my wife. <laughs> Okay, okay, we should totally do a video when we have Just Cause 3 and just plant C4 everywhere on the whole city then yeah. fly up and watch the result of letting them explode. See what uh, happens, could you, could you cruise around and out. see the... Yeah. <laughs> just cruise around and yeah, see yeah. the town like blow up to like ride of the Valkyrie. Yeah. But it's actually gonna be a fun experiment of seeing <laughs> if uh, the whole city actually crumbles to ashes. I actually, I actually have Ride of the Valkyries in, uh, in, in uh, as my uh, helicopter song in MGS. Yeah, so usually, awesome. when I, whenever I order like, like I need backup, like standing there blowing up things, and then you hear in the background, da, 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 I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> It's totally really fitting today, game. It's so good, it's so it's good. It's yeah. totally your philosophy to have a vehicle with weird song playing. <laughs> Trademark. <laughs> oh, Stockholm Panda is here. Hey, Stockholm Panda. Hi. Hey. Cool. Have you seen any, any of their videos? They're the guys who do all the social yeah, experiments. Yeah, I love them. I love them. I haven't seen the recent stuff, but they have some really, like, they... Um, they did a video a few days ago where, where one of them went on a business trip and stayed at a hotel, and the other get, guy secretly went to the same city, <laughs> checked into the same hotel, and then, like, dunk, 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 all night, and, like, kept him awake. <laughs> and they filmed it with a hidden camera. That's <laughs> not Yeah, it's a good video. That's awesome. Yeah. Good, good television, good television. Yeah, good some TV. of the videos are so scumbag, and some of the videos are so morally, like, you start thinking. Mm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Nice. Makes me wonder how many of them are staged. We should ask them. Maybe not. Yeah. They might be insulted. <laughs> oh my uh, god. We talk games sometimes. We talk yeah, games sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Coming back to games. Uh, games. Games. Yeah. yeah. Games. Paris Games Week was like recently. Paris so uh, I, ago, yeah. yeah, I have a question for you. Which game are you most hyped for for uh, from the Paris Games Weeks? Oh god, oh god. No! It's coming! Wait, wait, wait a second. I know which you, you're both hyped for. 
We all know. Call of Duty Black Ops 3! Oh shit, we knew that! Plot uh, twist? No man's fucking sky! That's more like it. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Well, no sky. I'm totally hyped. And they actually gave us a release date ish, June 2016. Yeah. Which is way later, because they've always said 2015, so I'm kinda, kinda bummed right now, actually. Oh my god. Yeah, and yeah. You, uh, your prediction didn't really. <laughs> I, pre I, I predicted they would either give us a release date or stealth release. Stealth release was a side bet, so I lost my own side bet. Okay, fair enough. But I, I'm still, I'm still, I've still got kind of because it, it, it's not actually a release date; it's a release window. But it's, the, the, it's, ma the main uh, prediction is still there. Yeah, mm. yeah. Fair I, enough. I would give myself uh, thirty percent of a point. Fair enough. Fair I'd enough. I'd give twenty-five furious points. <laughs> well, speaking of furious, what's your? Furious, most anticipated <laughs> game from uh, Paris Games Week. Well, uh, before that, you said that you know what my most anticipated game is. So what? tell us. Well, that was that because was because I, of No Man's Sky wait! because you you both are hyping I am super, hyping No I'm Man's Sky. Hyped, but there is one game I'm hyping more. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Is it Horizon? No, but I'm really hyped for Horizon oh, okay. as well. Uh, yeah, uh, I, th I think I know what you're gonna say. Okay, okay, guess, 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 wait, guess, guess. Gravity Rush. And your guess? I guess Gravity Rush then. My answer is actually Detroit because oh, uh, oh, yeah, oh, 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 not, not. yeah, I'm one, really, really one. hyped for both I'm Horizon and Gravity that one Rush. Well. But yeah. I mean, holy fuck, this seems so good because I was so intrigued by Kara uh, and everything. Yeah. Uh, but then they came with Beyond Two Souls, which I haven't played, but it's not really. It's supposed to be bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not really intrigued by that. I, I, I will play when when it's uh, re-released in HD on PS4 uh, later. Early next year, I think. Mm. Yeah, yeah, same. And I was like, uh, give me more Kara, is all I thought, but I was like, eh, they will never do that. And then they were coming with Detroit. No, 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 no. no, no. Mm -hmm. Then they gave us the tech demo for the Dark Sorcerer for the <laughs> PS4. The guy standing like, by all, and he was just an actor. Yeah. I was like, this is the next game? Oh my god, like that looked fun, but mm. like they gave us the Kara demo, no Kara game, Beyond Two Souls, and then the Dark Sorcerer demo. I'm like, this company sucks. This is so quantum room. They're like trolls nowadays. Oh my god! And now oh they're like, god. they're like, you know what? We thought about it. Kara was pretty cool. Let, let's just do Kara out the game. <laughs> We're like, thanks. I guess. Yeah. Well, uh, speaking of Detroit becoming human, uh, we also have Deus Six. Uh, Mankind Divided! Ma Mankind yeah, Divided! Yeah, yeah. And also, Which also is available over there, and yeah. we haven't touched it. As well. Yeah, we should touch it later. But uh, <laughs> w one thing that actually got me thinking with um, uh, becoming uh, human. Become. Beca become Detroit. human. Detroit. Is oh, that uh, you guys remember when I talked about CD Projekt Red's uh, uh, project that is uh, Cyberpunk 2077? Ah, uh, maybe. Oh, was it th them who did it? I, yeah, wait, I, wait, I, wait. I, I remember you talking about yeah, that, but the, I, never, I, is, uh, I never got that it was CD Projekt Red doing it. Yeah, it was CD Projekt Red. Oh, Lord! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It all pieces together now. Suddenly my hype is through the roof of this friends arena. Yeah, and, and the thing is they only they really only got like a concept video of like something happening in the city where <laughs> someone is killing people and cops are like coming in and like stopping this yeah. girl. But the thing is uh, the become human actually reminded me of that game because it kind of has the same atmosphere. It's like dystopian but still uh, like cyborgs that mm. like uh, act like humans and everything and is is it like a thing with the themes? Like they're like releasing uh, games with like high tech cyborg themes right now, like Deus Ex and uh, uh, Become a Human and uh, I, 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 Cyberpunk actually, 2077. Yeah, I've actually had the same thought, but the other way around. Like for, way around. For, yeah, for, for me it feels like there are, there are often trends in in uh, themes and ages within games. Yeah, and it feels like because uh, a few years ago we had this gigantic trend where every game made at all were modern shooters yeah. from, coming from the Battlefield games and the Call of Duty games and all these freaking clones. Yeah, and it was really like uh, dark and grey yeah. and yeah. not a lot of colors. Yeah, too. then suddenly everything was World War II, you know, mm. and then suddenly the last three years everything was suddenly sci-fi and super futuristic yeah. with Destiny and mm. the new Call of Duty games being super futuristic and all this, all this space. A games. Alien also isolation. Yeah. But yeah. now I, I, I'm thinking, are we reverting back to the Stone yeah. Ages? Because we have, uh, for, for ex we have Horizon, mm. which yeah. is technically not. It is technically futuristic. It's supposed yeah. to be post post apocalypse. It's like, like Stone Age field with yeah, it is. It like, is. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's like Stone Age people hunting dinosaurs, except yeah. it's like 
the dinosaurs are robots and it's like the humanity being re-evolved. But also we have Far Cry Primal coming out early next year, yeah. which is uh, a Far Cry game set in the Stone Ages. And we have Wild, which yeah. is also yeah. like GTA Stone Age, yeah. pretty much. I, I guess GTA Stone Age, but, uh, but more sandbox, do whatever you want, yeah, possess you, animals yeah, you, and stuff. Yeah, you can possess all the animals. Mm. And we have like all these three games coming out now that are like open world uh, Stone Age games. I'm like, is that a thing that's going on? Is it? Is it just cool to make Stone Age games all of a sudden? Well, to be honest, uh, I'm I'm a little bit fed up with the whole like sci-fi thing, and I and I like the uh, medieval themes and like uh, like old stuff. I like medieval as well. Yeah, I'm I'm I do enjoy my sci-fi to mm. some extent, at least in games. I'm not a fan of sci-fi movies that much. Mm. Uh, but what I find interesting is these Stone Age games because I, I don't think there's ever been any. I mean, that have been like sophisticated. Aside of like Age of Empires. Uh-huh. Yeah, but you know, but three, Monster three Hunter has been like. Monster Hunter has been kind yeah, of yeah, Stone Age uh, But that's been yeah, the only that's, thing. That's, that's, that's more, more like fantasy, me, you know. Yeah, you're, fantasy you're, still, you're, still like, you're still like being like a warrior with a sword and hunting dragons with it's weird ass swords like, carved from the, bodies. I mean, now we're literally talking Stone Age. You got a hubba club and your, your yeah. little heft yeah. loin cloth. And you're like, unga <laughs> so You're talking about realistic Stone Age here. Not realistic you're hunting but dinosaurs that's it kind of fantasy yeah. then but uh, I agree there are many uh, suddenly like uh, in this show there was many many Stone Age games out of nowhere um, and I'm thinking is that just becoming because they, they didn't show anything of Far Cry Primal honestly I was expecting there to be anything or maybe even here being like you could try it uh, I'm guessing that's going to be on PSX actually because that game I'm actually really hyped for I love, mm-hmm. me, I love me some Far Cry when it's good like yeah. all the random encounters you can have with animals like in Far Cry 4 when we, you suddenly meet a tiger who starts attacking your car like yeah. all these little non-scripted those are super cool that yeah. in the Stone Age with mammoths could be really cool yeah. um, so I'm hyped for that game I'm not as hyped for Wild even though the entire internet seems to be like <gasps> I'm really yeah. hyped for Wild yeah, I yeah, thought that seemed looks, really really it cool it looks good I need to see more Just, yeah. yeah me too me too yeah. but I, I, I still think it's cool the the, the like goddesses or whatever you call them seem to actually be cool. stuff, the snake yeah. baby yeah. Yeah, the, the snake, snake baby she was really really <laughs> hot yeah she was really, really uh, hot but that's that's cool because that like kind of broke this really serious tone of yeah. the game it felt a bit more oh it's one of those games <laughs> hop, yeah. hop the really chick. felt uh, when you watch the gameplay like everything is like unga bunga bunga yeah. and then you're like oh shit <laughs> Yeah, like, she the comes to like, hey there, handsome. But you know the price, the, the, the price you will pay, <laughs> or yeah. something like that. I'm really happy. Pay. But yeah. I think uh, when we're speaking trends, I think that one trend that is always lurking and still remaining, zombies. I mean, Call of Duty, still zombies. But it's not as much of a trend. I mean, yeah. a few uh, years ago, there were like, uh, there were like zombie games all the time. Like you had. I'm not even gonna start counting, but you had like Left 4 Dead and Dead Rising and freaking all these games. There are still a few of them. Like you have Last uh, of Us. Yeah, Last of Us. Dead Light also. Uh, Dying Light as well. Dying Light. (laughs) There's another game called Dead Light, which is also a zombie game. Yeah, fair (laughs) enough. I I, I mixed them up. (laughs) But Dying Light as well. I think zombies were a huge trend that is dying. It's still yeah. gonna always be there to some I feel extent. So too. Like you said, Call of Duty. Mm, like yeah. Call of Duty basically has the single player campaign, the multiplayer. They they were, like always had zombie uh, and gameplay. always zombies. Yeah. And oh yeah, you you heard about Call of Duty the new one, uh, Black Ops Three on the yeah. on the last gen consoles. Yeah. The last gen version is not gonna have any single player campaign. And that's like the PS why? the PS3 like, and 360 really version. Weird. They only have the multiplayer and the zombies. Uh, their, their thinking is, well, that's what all the kids want anyway. But I'm like, that feels kind of like they're... That feels not, cheap, man. But that also yeah. feels like they're yeah. not kind of... They're like, oh, zombie, that's kind of hip. They're not really into what's popular now. Like, yeah. if Stone Age and stuff is the trend, why are they yeah. still insisting on zombies? Make something new. We're tired and fed up yeah. of well, all zombie, these zombies. Yeah. So, zombies, I mean, it's a game mode of its own. Like, it, it's kind of like Left 4 Dead, but like evolved. Mm. Yeah, and the, th- the thing is, we, we got that like for the last Call of Duty games. Like, give us something else. And speaking of single player and uh, campaigns and stuff so, uh, we're actually seeing like Bell- uh, Battlefront right now and I'm actually really yeah. really sad about it not having a real single player campaign because that's really the only thing I would have been like really hyped for yeah. except like it being like kind of a good uh, deathmatch yeah. game yeah okay so I was a bit uh, drawn back yeah. uh, initially 
when I heard the Star Wars Battlefront when I was gonna have like an actual single player campaign. I played that game quite a bit. I think the single player, this, the kind of like hit the waves of enemies that they have instead, is kind of lame. At yeah, least what I played in the beta. Definitely. But the multiplayer, I mean, I don't play, I play, I'm, I'm much more of a single player guy. I play multiplayer with friends, but not as, I, I don't sit at home by myself play multiplayer with random people. Yeah, but that either. being said, the multiplayer with random people in Star Wars Battlefront was amazing. I like, I played the Hoth battles when you play like 20 and 20 uh, with the at -80s. That was crazy. Like, that was amazing. I could play only that multiplayer and be, I would be happy with the game. What was it about, uh, because of the theme, or uh, what set it aside from like other uh, multiplayer yeah. games like Call of Duty or Battlefield? It was Star Wars. And it it had, was Star Wars, it was the theme. Yeah, and it had the AT-ATs. It was just mighty to walk around the snowy fields, seeing those things, uh, not just being a backdrop, but you could actually run up to them and you could get crushed by them if yeah. you sucked. Uh, which never happened to me, actually, uh, believe it or not. Whoa. Uh, Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, buddy. Nice. Uh, yeah. I never managed to take one down either, though, so it goes both ways. Um, it, it was just epic, you know? Yeah. I, I definitely think everybody should try it. But what I'm thinking is I, I could buy that game on release, pay yeah. 60 bucks for it, play it, only multiplayer, all the modes, and think, yeah, that was a good game. But in a world of MGS, Witcher, and Fallout, and Just Cause, uh, how yeah. can I justify paying the same amount for that game when these games are at the same price? Yeah, there, it's going to be totally overshadowed. Yeah, like, really. That is. Even Assassin's Creed Syndicate, which we are also watching right now. Yeah. I mean, speaking of multiplayer games, we also got got uh, things like uh, Overwatch and uh, Battlefront and all these uh, games that they're, yeah. they're like. I, I think like okay, ba Battlefront. <laughs> Battlefront. We even uh, got ba Battlefront. Yeah, like, yeah, obviously. Battlefront. That are like. See, at least seem a lot more fun than uh, this game if you're not a Star Wars fan that, yeah. that is I'm not really a huge Star Wars fan but to me uh, Overwatch and Battleborn they are both like what they call hero shooters which is like MOBAs first person you yeah. play them pretty much five on five you know yeah. um, the thing in the Battlefront uh, beta which I found so cool oh, the Hoth Bells is that you played 40 people in the same match so they were literally an army of 40 people fighting at the same time that is huge yeah. I, I guess that's what I like. I like the epic scope of it. I like having 40 people walking around, mm. blasting e everything. It, it was just, it was just epic, you know. Yeah. I mean, you mentioned that in this era of Witcher 3 and GS and everything, uh, who can pay the same amount? I mean, I really think that what they're trying to do with Battlefront is to not appeal to the open world sandbox fans, but they're trying to mm. take people who like likes to compete but also give them something that is not like all these MOBAs and hero shooters and everything. I, I think that ba Battlefront is more like going back a bit to CS and all these games but huger and more epic. So yeah, I think definitely. that it fills yeah. a role that doesn't really exist, which is cool. I mean, for me, I, I prefer MOBAs and hero shooters but uh, I can definitely see Battlefront having its place. Mm. Well, we, we uh, it's still, still got a lot of cool features, like the thing where you can play as a hero. I'm actually really stoked about playing like Darth Vader and... Uh, Han Solo, Han Solo! Yeah, yeah, Han Solo! Like, Harrison Ford! Having like in infinite power. Unlimited <laughs> power! <laughs> like, the only thing, I, I, I totally agree with you on that. It feels like some kind of a void in the gaming scene right now, because yeah. it's only direct competition right now is Call of Duty. And the Call yeah. of Duty people won't play it anyway. And all the other people who is not playing Call of Duty, those are the people who usually play Battlefield. Mm. Uh, the last proper Battlefield game was in 2013, Battlefield 4, mm -hmm. which was good but broken uh, yeah. when it launched. It, it's fine now, I think. Then it was Battlefield Hardline earlier this year, was it? Mm. And that game was supposed to be not very good, and also it's not a real Battlefield. It's a cops and thieves chase yeah, game. Yeah, kind of GDA. Yeah, so when you have that kind of... Uh, military shooter that's not Call of Duty and you want something like that that is actually good and there has been a battlefield around for two years uh, I think this is this is right up their alley yeah, yeah. absolutely like I, I, I would love to get this game it's just I gotta get the other games first that yeah. cost the same mm -hmm. oh shit's place give me all candy <laughs> honey boo gummy bears everywhere gummy bear. gummy bear. one thing that actually uh, bumps me out a lot is that we still don't got any <laughs> Chewbacca <laughs> I, I, I want to play Chewbacca and rip people's arms off <laughs> yeah yeah gummy Woo! bears gummy bears no. <laughs> what oh they're actually they're not gummy bears they're like uh, gummy naps. <laughs> they're like, what, what do you call them? Uh, it's like you're not coming to space. Like the things babies put in their mouth. Naps. Like. <laughs> okay, what's the English word for pacifier? Huh? I was gonna give them a challenge, but wait. <laughs> Fuck the challenge. We beat the challenge. Okay, another. Okay, bon vine. What's the English word for that? 
The kind of thing you drag your baby around and when it lies down and you go to the store. Van Van. Yeah. I fucking hate them by the way. Children's carriage. Children's parade. Mm -hmm. That sounds like some kind of thing from an anime. Parade of the children. Thing is with, with those things is like I fucking hate them at malls because people always like run over my feet. Because uh, <laughs> it like always happens and they don't even give a fuck. They don't give uh. a fuck. Wow. Parade of the children. That sounds like a bad anime. <laughs> Now, yeah. I, after eating the can, I kind of feel like, wow, I had some kind of low blood sugar. Now yeah, like, same. Ah. Every, every, all of the colors, like, suddenly... Also, today, as I was filming this, it's uh, it's Halloween today, by the way. Yeah, which yeah. brings us to our probably last topic. Maybe. Depends on how much we de de detract. I was actually just going to talk about Halloween in general, but let's go back to games. Let's go back to games. Okay. So, Halloween ha hat. So the Halloween hat. Yeah. So, <laughs> this topic right now is... Which game is the best game to play on Halloween? Which game is it, Raid? Tell us. Give us the answer. Give us the answer! <laughs> well, there was like a rapid fire question to myself, because <laughs> uh, Okay, okay, Brace, I got it. Actually, the game that I like think is like the best, absolute best to play at Halloween. Absolute best to play at Halloween. Is yeah. it actually reminds me of something that's really sad, but the original Silent Hill games. Oh specifically. Why is that sad? Because we aren't getting Silent Hills. <laughs> oh no! No! Why did you remind me? How, how did you feel, like totally like, walk into that? I feel like Darth Vader. <laughs> no! <laughs> well, we're still getting like uh, Asperger's successor, Allison Road. But uh, back to the main I you point. Said Asperger's. Yeah, I also heard Asperger's that. Road. <laughs> we're still getting Asperger's out of hanging with these. I'm like. Dude, what if we just said that? <laughs> yeah. Well, b back to the main point. Uh, I think that the original like Silent Hill 2 was like really epic. Yeah. Uh, I didn't really play through Silent Hill 1, but uh, I've only Silent played Hill the first 2, game. Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 3 are like amazing. I and Silent Hill 2 is, I think, my personal favorite. Mm -hmm. Silent Hill 2 is usually people's favorite, or 3. Um, I played 1 quite a bit, I played 2 quite a bit, and I played a little bit of 3. Mm -hmm. I have not touched 4, and the awkward part of this is the 4 is the only game I actually own. The, the, the awkward part is that 4 actually sucks. Yeah, that's what everyone I, pe says. People, people usually say that it's a good horror game, but it's a bad Silent Hill game. And yeah, you know, it's it was, a bad Silent Hill like, game. The game was developed like 80%, and then they were like, hmm, let's make this a Silent Hill game instead, just to cash in. So. Yeah. Plot twist, announcement. Wow. Wow. Okay, well, the, the funny thing about Silent Hill 4 The Room uh, is that I had moments in the game where I was like, what the fuck? Like, mm. why is this uh, this a thing? And uh, why is there a hole in my uh, wall? Yeah, and why haven't I gotten it fixed yet? One thing is that actually caught me off guard and actually made me laugh a lot was uh, the dogs were, that have like really long yeah, tongues. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when you like execute them, when they're like on the ground, like uh. if you stomp on them, execute them, they go like. Wah! <laughs> and the, the, the thing, that, yeah, yeah, and the thing that actually got me like instantly when my friend played it and like stomped the dog. Uh, is that when it when it went like yeah, I immediately responded with I feel good, da -da -da -da. <laughs> I feel good. and it immediately became a thing and we were like laughing our asses off. Is that and where you got where you got your raid from from those? Well, dogs? I guess. <laughs> and the, the other thing is that there were like random uh, ghosts and stuff like ha haunting you and like running around trying to kill you, and they were like floating towards you. Yeah. And there was one one ghost that I I swear looked like Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> the thing was, he was like getting uh, getting chased by this ghost, and I was like laughing my ass. I and mean, I was like, what, what, what? What's the thing? Is that like a, uh, like a what do you call it? Um, yeah. Like then and then and then and then and then Benny Hill. Yeah, Benny Hill. Uh -huh. is, is like Benny Hill thing. Like, is that why you're laughing? And I was like, no, that the ghost like totally looks like like um, Bill Cosby. And it was like, oh shit, he totally looks like wow, Bill Cosby. Oh my god. Yeah, it was a really really funny. I love, it, I love when you find things in games that look like things outside games. And it's not intentional, but it's like everybody sees it. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, unintentional Bill Cosby reference. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. unintentional give okay. Bill Cosby. Give it up. Yeah, give it up. Uh, well, uh, enough about uh, Silent Hills. Uh, what's your uh, favorite game to play on Halloween or best game? Uh, there are quite a few, actually. Quite a few. Uh, the Silent Hill games are always good ones. Uh, Resident Evil are always good ones. Uh, Resident Evil 1, uh, the remake for the PS4, is a very good one. I know our pal Mike Huber over at Game Trailers like to promote that one as a good Halloween game, mm -hmm. uh, and I can totally see that. Uh, but for me, I, I'm actually I, I love me some horror. I, I played a lot of horror games, um, and the ones that usually 
grinds my gears at Halloween are actually the pixel horrors. Oh my god, I was, was going to mention those yeah. actually. Uh, each Halloween... Oh, only... Yeah, actually, uh, each Halloween, the last, I think, last three or four Halloweens, uh, we've had like small Halloween parties, uh, drinking uh, things that may or may not contain things, and... Uh, <laughs> and, things. and roofies! <laughs> containing roofies and Billy's pizza. Uh, but also, uh, playing pixel horror games. Uh, I think last year we played... Was it last year we played Mermaid Swamp, or was it the year before? I actually missed that game. Uh, no, I, mi I missed Mermaid Swamp, so I think it was the year before. That, that was two years ago. Uh, and we played things like Awani, Mermaid Swamp, uh, Witch's House. Witch's Witch House. Fucking house. Witch's yeah. House is, that is hands down one of the absolute best horror games I've ever played. And one of the most scary horror games, hands down. Yeah. Scarier than Alien. To some extent, they're scary in different ways. Uh, you're more paranoid than Alien. Um, yeah. But definitely, the scares are way worse in Witch's House. I was pretty paranoid in Witch's House, though, all the time. Wrong. I'm not saying you're not being paranoid. You are paranoid. Yeah. yeah. But I, Alien, Marking Alien, all these kind of Alien and Amnesia, this kind of survival. Woo! Max. Whoa. All these kind of survival kind of games. <laughs> Fuck. I did. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. <laughs> you suck. Uh, all these kind of survival ish games, like. or. As Jim Sterling likes to call it, the stalker games. Like yeah. Alien, Amnesia, Outlast, uh, those kind of games. Soma. Um, yeah. they're, they're good, but like they are based on paranoia. Like The scary lies solely in the paranoia. Yeah. Whereas games like The Witch's House, or Awone, or The Pixel Horrors, lie more in atmosphere, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally, totally. I think they are really scary, and uh, damn it, you mentioned what I was gonna mention. Uh, always one step ahead. Yeah, what's your best? Halloween game. Or well, you know second best since he didn't mention your. <laughs> since I mentioned the. Uh, you can't just paraphrase what I say. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I think that the pixel horror games really grind my <laughs> wet. Um, actually, well, you I, can choose another pixel horror game if uh, you want to. Uh, I, my, but I also. I all the good ones. Though. Yeah. Except but, Ib took that one. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, fuck you. I, I, Ib is actually my favorite. <laughs> and also, Miniki is good. Uh, you. <laughs> Stop, man. Stop. Stop. Like, shut up now. <laughs> Shut up! Shout uh, out to Madfather. But, and the Crooked Man. But, uh, yeah. The Crooked Man is really good. It is, I yeah, guess. Really. It's one of the best it, ones. It really, it really gets you thinking. Uh, yeah. Whoa. Uh, I think that the Faddle Frame games are really, really Faddle, underrated. Faddle, 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 Faddle Frame. Faddle Frame. <laughs> Project uh, Zero? Yeah. Project uh, Zero. But yeah. I actually think that... You're actually getting a new game. Yeah, but I actually Zero think... Uh, not, to yeah. not to sound like one of those pretentious guys, but I think you should play it undubbed, like with the Japanese voices over it. Subtitles Why? on it. Why should they? Because it, I like the voice acting more. It's like... Okay, many people like the English better. Okay, I'm not many people. <laughs> Thank God you're not. Yeah. We are one. <laughs> we are one. We are one. <laughs> so if you're like me, not many people, play the Fatal Frame games with a Japanese voiceover. It's fucking awesome. And if you can't get a hold of the Japanese voiceover, play the game out of way in English. It, the game is the same and it's very good. Fatal Frame 2 especially is extremely good. I think 3 is good too. 3 is good. I have not played the one for Wii 4. And the new one for Wii U is supposed to be pretty bad. Apparently, like it's supposed to be scary for the first part, then it's just copy paste. The if you want me to live stream that game, please uh, tell me. If enough people want that, I will buy the game. Uh. Okay. Well, one thing that actually got me thinking, and uh, I was like, a bit uh, wait, surprised I, that, wait, that, that you I'm didn't gonna, I, choose I'm it. I'm gonna throw this to somebody. Okay. Woo! Bye -bye. Uh, Headshot. Uh, uh, thing is, I was actually really surprised that none of you chose uh, Five Nights at Fred Dunn. <laughs> Fem nätter hos Fredrik och Fredrik. Fem nätter hos Fredrik. Yeah. Slagga hos Sluggo. Dö av plushies. Övernattning hos Fredrik. <laughs> Kampa uh. hos Fredrik Kämpe. Med musbyxor och saurkrimchips. Myspys hos uh, Mr. P Netflix Mister. och chill. <laughs> Roliga pyjamasdräkter ska okay, i för okay. hela familjen. Forget Netflix and chill. It's time for IMAX and Climax. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh! Hi! Yeah, buddy! Okay, anyway, sorry. Um, uh, don't yeah, worry about the, it. The Final Fantasy Freddy's games are good, but to me... I'm, I'm mixing <laughs> I'm not gonna don't say... Die, don't I'm not gonna, okay, I'll, I'll just take over. I'm not gonna say the franchise is dead, but I'm getting a bit sick of... Netflix and chill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is Netflix and chill. This is not Netflix and chill. This is podcast and chill. Podcast and flow frill. frill. Podcast and frill. Podcast and grill. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my burgers? 
Wait, wait a second, that's your line. That's that's right. Where's my burgers? <laughs> Where's his burgers? I gotta eat them. Um, no, the FNAF, the FNAF games are good, but I'm like, I've had my fair share of FNAF. Yeah. Although, did you see the trailer for FNAF World that came out yesterday? No. No, I heard things, but I haven't seen. It's uh, it's gonna be an RPG, like a turn-based RPG with the FNAF characters. What? And it's supposed to be, and it's supposed to be not horror. And they released the first trailer yesterday, no. and everybody's cringing. No. I can like totally Stop see like. Stop milking French. I guess they see this like a GRPG. Like, Chica, your team. That is exactly what it is. Really? Really? That is exactly is what it is. It's like Freddy going in the like front row and then like. Uh, Everybody else follows in a line. It's pretty much it's it, it's Freddy walking around the world map, random encounters, and then it's like the Paper Mario kind of style battles. Okay, 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 okay. Two words. What the fuck? <laughs> that actually the trailer is like the trailer shows all the faces like being super scary, <laughs> like they scared you, <laughs> they haunted you, <laughs> and now they're back. <laughs> and this and, you grind and, 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 this, and this time they're and then it says cute, and then they've actually added a what the fuck <laughs> into the trailer. <laughs> So the creator, he knows what he's doing. The four animatronics of light have to find the crystals. <laughs> I'm actually well, hyped, I think. I'm not. <laughs> fuck this. Five nights at fuck this. <laughs> no, I think it's gonna be it's gonna be fine. I mean, uh, we'll see what it's gonna be. I mean, Scott yeah. hasn't he hasn't failed me yet, so yeah. I'm keeping I my hope. hopes up for him. I I, I freaking hope. I freaking hope. Uh, let's hope. Yeah. Oh well, do we have any any last words before we leave this? Uh, Comic Con has been fun, I'm, I'm a bit sad there were more games. Um, yeah. But we're hanging out with Splay and they're super cool people as always. Yeah. Uh, they, their free burgers are good and uh, the other people are good good, good to us. Go. Arigato Splay! How about your prediction of the week? My prediction of the week? Very well. As you always know, I as you know, I always do a prediction uh, of... Shut up! I didn't predict this! No. Okay, so... Basically, uh, Paris Games Week was just finished and a lot of things were announced and a lot of things were missing according to people. But we still have one more chance. PSX in December. Yeah, boy. Alright, so... <clears throat> people are always complaining about things that are missing on the PS4. Things like changing your PSN name ID. Yeah. And uh, that you can't play PS1 classics or PS2 classics on the PS4. And uh, some other things that I can remember. I think, my, I predict, all of those things are going to be announced as new features coming with a new system update at PSX. Including changing PSN names and old classics. If that is possible, I can finally stop having Ushiro Miyaren as a name on my PSN. <laughs> I can finally be called not Endigo Blowfish on PSN. <laughs> I can finally not be initiated 6. <laughs> That's okay. You yeah, know. I compared to Ushiro Miyaren and Endigo fucking Blowfish. The, the, the thing with my name was that I, I actually didn't know what to um, write, so I actually just went uh, with the thing that it's like randomly uh, write something for yeah, you. Yeah. I was like, oh yeah, like a capture. Sounds good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Initiate. It. it sounds. Yeah. It sounds pro. It sounds yeah, like. Yeah. It sounds like a J Rock song. Yeah, I or guess. or a fighting <laughs> game or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Initiate to do this. Initiate to I, I always felt like it. It sounded a little bit try hard. A bit, maybe. A bit, but yeah. it's fine. It's fine. Round one. Initiate. But, uh, <laughs> speaking of the prediction. Uh, I think the thing uh, with being backwards compatible is not going to really be a thing. I think it's more likely that they're going to announce them for uh, like digital purchase. Ah, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. I is hope that a counter prediction. <laughs> I bet a burger on this. Oh shit, fat kid! I'm not betting a burger against, but I'm accepting his bet. <laughs> win, win. <laughs> Burgers for me. Uh, anyway, uh, this has been Dorped Time episode 4 yep. and uh, as I forgot to mention in the beginning, we're also now on iTunes so go subscribe to us on iTunes to get all the episodes and also if you're not using Apple stuff you can go to a podcast service of your choice on Android or PC uh, also subscribe to Dorped TV on YouTube and if you got any questions for the show send them to podcast at dorped.com which I keep forgetting to tweet out the link but I'm gonna do that this time, don't tweet worry about it Tweet the first thing no, you do like, after this podcast yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you for this time. And do you have any closing words? Okay, I'm furious. He is furious. Uh, see you next week. Don't forget to share. And I'm radical. Peace. Peace. Uh, pizza. Bye.
Let's get a burger. Yeah, yeah. Let's get a burger. Bye bye, Comic Con.